Well, hello and welcome to Windows and Fly Fishing. This is the introduction for the time we do. I'm gonna do later on. Uh, <clears throat> today we're gonna tie this fly, uh, but especially we're gonna sh I'm gonna show you a method without uh, using the parachute hackle method. So I'm gonna tell you a little about uh, the materials I use in this uh, fly. Um, I'm I'm using this kind of body, homemade. This is a silicone body that I've made of uh, silicone and uh, dubbing and uh, the hackle fiber, the, the, the tail fibers is uh, moose mane. Okay. I use some uh, poly multifill from uh, Stonefo as the winging material. This is a bit struggly, I have to comb it up before I'm gonna use it. And some uh, bullfrog dubbing from Fly Touch Dungeon in uh, color tan. This is very long fiber dubbing, nice. Uh, I'm gonna use some uh, partridge hooks, size 12, dry fly supreme, very nice hook. And I'm gonna use some uh, sample fly brown, brown uh, thread in uh, the color brown. It says I think it's 8 -o. I don't know for sure. And uh, some hackle fibers from a white and cape. This is a uh, bronze. I don't, I don't know what color it is, but uh, well, it looks like this. It's the, this kind. It's the expensive stuff. Well, uh, that's all I've used for this fly. Um, so, let's get on with the tying then. Hello and welcome to another fly tying tip from Widows and Fly Fishing. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a nice mayfly without using the parachute tackle method. Sometimes to tie a parachute tackle can be very struggling for people so I'm uh, gonna show you a little tip about how to make a nice mayfly without the parachute tackle method. Okay, I start with uh, attaching my uh, silicone body to the hook. I'm uh, gonna post another video that uh, I show how to make these uh, bodies and uh, how to attach it to the hook. Okay, now I'm gonna attach my thread this is a brown sample fly thread, 8 I think. That's not so very important. Snip off the stumps there. And wind over the body now, just to attach it securely. Like that. Nice base. Now I'm gonna attach my wing. I take this poly multifill here. Snip off a bit. Okay, double it, wind around the base of the wing to make it come together. Like that, you see now the wing is coming together. And now I'm gonna take some more dumbing on. Same dubbing as in the body. To make nice thorax. I could have made, made the darker thorax, but I can uh, always, if I want, make that happen with a instant marker or something because this uh, dubbing now is uh, very light tan colored I take a hackle feather uh, this is from a neck and uh, I know that uh, neck feathers are very more stiff than the saddle feathers so I try to make this Go the right way with the shiny side tilting forward. That's not always so very easy. 
and attach some more dubbing. Control the wing. Wind down forwards like that. And take your hackle plier. This one with the joint is very nice. This is from CNF design. <clears throat> And now you just wind around the body instead of around the wing. Two or three wraps in back of the wing and just the same in the front of the wing. Check the advantages of the length of the Tackle here. Now, just try not to snug onto the camera. Try to avoid that. Take a snip of the rest. Try to. Bring back the hackle fibers and make a nice head like that. And use your bit finisher. Where did I get? Uh, so let's see if I can find it. There it is. Oh, a little more. And make some nice whip finish to end the fly. You can apply some varnish if you want. Take the wing, just make it, uh, cut it in an angle, steep angle, so you get a little nice. See, there is some stragglers here. Now I'm gonna take the fly and tilt it upside down. And just Take the fibers in the middle and just snip it off. Take just let us do the work properly now and just try to make it as nice as possible. You see, now we got the mayfly without any parachute tackle. This will float all day long because of the hollow body here and the hackle. And of course you can apply some uh, floatant on this uh, fly. This is a very nice uh, method and uh, certainly a easier method than uh, using the parachute method. Because when you use the hackles from the neck, even if, if it's whiting and uh, whatever, it's more stiff than if you use it from the saddle. And if you're gonna tie a large fly like this, you're gonna need some broad feathers. And that's not always the case with the saddle hackle. You have to use it from the neck and then you have to struggle with the stiff stem. So <clears throat> that's all I had for you folks. And I uh, hope you liked this tip. And uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I will try to post uh, more videos uh, every now and then, uh, often two times a week, more often uh, nowadays. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, tight lines and bye bye.